Hello Composers, Mike here. Let me show you how you can quantize your audio parts to be perfectly in sync with your grid in Logic Pro X right now. I will also give you a bonus tip in the end of this video. So the first thing you need to do if you want to quantize an audio clip is to apply flex editing on that audio track. So I just recorded this little audio clip here. <laughs> just for demonstration purposes. So you, what you want to do is to go into the audio editor by double clicking here or selecting it and pressing E on your keyboard. And now in here, you want to go up to this button here, which is the flex editing mode, which with the first time you do it on an audio track, Logic will ask you, do you want to turn on flex for track audio test? Turn on flex and now uh, Logic will find transient markers, which are these little uh, lines, dashed lines, you can see here. Let me zoom in here. Now you want to make sure that no transient inside your file is missing here from the transient markers because those are going to be used in the audio quantize process. So let's say if I take this other audio clip here, you can see if we go down here that it is missing a transient right here. I would want one. And to add a new transient marker, you simply select uh, in the timeline and then hover your mouse so this line is here left click with your mouse now we have a transient marker here if you made a mistake you can always go up here follow the line to this little x and remove that marker so let's go back to the previous example now when you have applied flex mode and you have your transient markers on all uh, transients in your audio file you can go up to the region here, track inspector, and apply a quantize right on the audio. Let's say an eight note in this case, and look what happens. Logic actually takes all the individual parts inside uh, of your audio clip and time stretches them a bit and moves them to play so that they are perfectly quantized to the grid value you choose. <laughs> So I will show this in the context of this little song here. So I actually recorded the main melody line here on my vocals here in this audio track. So listen to how it sounds first. And if you get pretty good timing, the audio quantize method will work better. So in this case, I think I will just go in. I have already applied flex editing mode. Just add that marker as I showed, like here. Now we have that marker. Let's check the rest. It looks good. And now go up to the audio quantize. Turn on, let's see, in this case, you want to make sure that you do not use a too low uh, grid value. So I think 16th note will be better in this case. Let's see how it turned out. So you can see the transients here and listen back. <laughs> So now this vocal line is perfectly quantized and will play in sync with the piano melody up here. Now the final example is if you record a really bad out of time performance, <laughs> which I, I did on purpose here just for demonstration. Let me play that. So that sounded really, really out of time. So if you go into this clip here and check the transient markers and listen back. So this is clearly very out of time. Now we can take this transient, left click, and then drag that into place to 1-4 here. This one to 1-3. And this one should actually be on the bar line on the 2 here. So just listen to this now. Completely in time. Not in tune, perhaps, but that's not what this tutorial is about. So those are the two ways of quantizing audio. Turn on the flex editing mode. And by the way, you can also try different algorithms. I usually leave it on automatic uh, in case logic doesn't find the transients as good as you want. And the other way is to uh, select the transient and then left click and drag them manually until they snap to the grid. And my bonus tip is, in some cases, you do not want to quantize perfectly to the grid, just as the case as when you quantize the MIDI. Well, you can actually, if you have applied this technique, turn on the eight notes here, for example, and then go into more 
and reduce the quantize strengths. So those are not perfect quantized to the grid. So you can take this to 0%, which is no quantize, 100%, and they snap back to the grid. Let's take the marker here so you can see it clearly. And look what happens if I reduce it to, let's say, 50%. It's not perfectly quantized anymore. Please like, share, and comment on this video to support my channel. And I will see you in the next video, my friends. Check out my complete video series on Logic Pro X tutorials and tips here on my channel. Learn and master Logic Pro X to boost your music composition and production workflow.